Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about snaps versus flat packs. Now, if you don't know what these are, basically these are two competing, I'm saying competing because really they're not going, I mean one's not going to win over the other, but they're two competing package management systems that are aiming to be able to package applications and then serve them to every distro. So if you're using Ubuntu, flat, flat packs and snaps will both work on it. Same thing with Arch, same thing with Fedora, same thing with OpenSUSE, so on and so forth. It's just a matter of you know installing the appropriate package management system that you want to use and following the appropriate, appropriate syntax. They're both so they're both aiming to do the same thing. They're just kind of approaching it from different ways, and we're going to talk a little bit about that today. We're going to talk a little bit about how you go about installing Snaps and flat packs. And we're going to talk a little bit about the pros and cons of each of these things. Um, so strap in. This is going to be a little bit of a journey. Prepare for yourselves. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to jump into Pop! OS here. And this is a virtual machine. And we can actually make it full screen so that it's easier to, to read. Pop OS by default does not package snaps. They package flat packs, which is an interesting choice given that it's based on Ubuntu, and Ubuntu is snap focused. If you install Ubuntu, you're going to have snap installed and not flat pack because Canonical is the developer of snaps. So it's a little, I mean, this is the way Linux distros are. They choose what one they want to support. If you're on Ubuntu, you're going to get Snaps. If you're on Pop, you're going to get Flat Packs. If you're on Elementary OS, you're going to get Flat Packs. If you're on Fedora, you're going to get Flat Packs. If you're on uh, something like Solus, you're going to get Snaps. So, like I said, the distribution is going to choose which one is installed by default. That doesn't mean that you can't install the other ones. So on this system here, I've installed SnapD. And I'll show you how to do that here in a minute. This system here actually has both of them on there, and they both work just fine. I can install packages from both. I could actually install the same packages from both, which would be confusing as hell, but you could do that if you wanted to. So just because your distribution has chosen to go one way doesn't mean you can't install the other one and can, we use it complete, perfectly fine. Now, let's start off with flat packs. Okay, so let's just close this one here. Now this is Flat Hub. If no, actually, first let's talk about how you'd install Flat Packs. Let's say you're on a distribution that has support is supporting Snaps, and you want to use Flat Packs instead. You just do sudo apt install Flat Pack. No C. Now if you're on Arch or on, on, on Arch-based distro, you do sudo pacman dash capital S Flat Pack. That's how you install it. Once you've installed it, you've got all the things that you need in order to install programs. Now, if you're going to be doing some packaging in Flatpak or in packaging in Snaps, you'll need some other programs, but I'm not going to be covering that today. I don't know anything about it. So that's how you do it. If, you want to if you're on a distribution that uh, has Flatpak installed but not Snaps, you just do the ex exact opposite. You do sudo app install snap d. Okay, and it'd be the same thing on Arch, just sudo pacman dash capital S snapd. Okay, once you have it installed, that's where the differences start to come in just a little bit. So we're gonna talk. Let's first talk talk about flat packs. This is Flat Hub, like I said, and they have similar applications available to you. So you can get Spotify from both. You can get Firefox from both. I believe like something like Bitwarden is only available in a snap. Let's just see. I'm just curious. No, nope, Bitwarden's available as both. So really choose which one you enjoy the syntax of best or choose the one that has the least cons. We're going to talk about the pros and cons here in a minute, but let's just say I wanted to install Bitwarden and I wanted to use Flatpak to do it. So I could hit this install button. That would download a package that looks like this, and then I have to go through the process of installing it like that. You do that by getting into the terminal and doing some code, and, you know, some commands in there. I find that to be a pain in the but it's kind of like a two-step process. There may be another way of installing this. Maybe there's a program that I could use to to 
install this by just double double clicking on it. But if I just double click on this now, I'm just gonna get the code. And that's completely useless to me, right? So really what I want to do is scroll down here and copy this. And then paste this in a terminal. And then it's gonna ask you some questions. So I'm I'm gonna do the system wide, which is gonna probably gonna require a password, but maybe not. Yes, and it's just gonna install, and then I have I'll have Bitwarden installed. That's as simple as it is. You go to Flathub, find this code here, copy it into a terminal, answer the questions that it asks you, and it's, and you'll you'll see this installation complete. Now, if I wanted to do this, I could type in Bitwarden, and it's just here. See, I now have Bitwarden installed, and it's a flat pack. Now, you'll notice that came up really quick, right? I mean, we'll open it up again. Very fast. And just keep note of that because when we get to a snap, you're going to see the one of the cons I'm going to be talking about. Uh, now let's just talk about... So the pros on the, on the flat pack side is that it, they're usually pretty fast. The cons is weird syntax so if we zoom in here just a little bit so you can actually see this flat pack install flat hub and then com.bitwarden.desktop what they really need to do is clean that up a little bit so you can do flat pack install flat hub bitwarden ignoring the other things that's the way it should work for whatever reason they do, it doesn't work that way it's really very weird because as you'll see when we talk about snaps you can just do snap install bitwarden and it would work. You don't have to have that com.bitwarden. Com.bitwarden.desktop is the actual name of the package. Whereas I think like the snap guys actually have actually gone through and created like aliases or something. I don't know how exactly how it works so that you don't actually have to remember the exact name of the package. That's basically FlatHub. It's very easy and is very much tied into using this website. Because of this weird syntax, it's going to be a lot harder to go through and just guess what the package name is. Because some some of them don't have .desktop at the end. Some of them have something different. It's very weird. Okay, so like I said, that's Flatpak. And as you can see, it was very quick. Let's talk about snaps for a minute. So this is the snap thing for Bitward. I'm just going to install a different one here. Let's just do Joplin. So what... You've installed Snap, or you have Snap pre-installed. If you want to install packages, sudo snap install Joplin. And in this case, because they do a good job of populating some kind of database or whatever for these things, you do get autocomplete. So, I don't know if you noticed it there. I was able to do Joplin and then tab completion. It gave me the actual name of the package. So if I hit enter, we're gonna it's going to go through and install this package. Installation time is gonna be about the same depending between these two different package management systems. A couple minutes usually. It's the same thing as if you were installing it from a PPA or from the you know the AUR or whatever. It's gonna run about the same amount of time because it's still gotta download things and it's still gotta build them. It's a little unfair that I chose Joplin because Joplin's a big package. Uh, so, most of the time, the, the time is about the same across the A few moments later. So, this is actually turning out to be a little bit slower than what I thought it would be. But it's possible that um, it's slower because this is the first time I've ran Snap on this virtual machine. So, what I'm going to do once, once this is done is I'll go and install a different snap and see if it's any faster. It's possible that it has to go through and do some initial setup that it doesn't have to do every time, so we'll do that. I am going to cut these, cut out some time here so you don't actually have to sit through all this, which you've probably already noticed. A few moments later. Okay, if finally decided to finish. That took a good six or seven minutes. Definitely a lot longer than it did to do that flat pack. 
normally I don't think that that's the case. So I'm going to choose one of these other ones. I'm going to choose Telegram. Just do sudo uh, snap install Telegram desktop. Okay. We'll see if this takes ju just as long. I don't think it will. If it, if it does take just as long, it will prove me wrong by saying that they both take about the same amount of time. Yeah, that wasn't nearly as bad as the Joplin one. Uh, and it was actually, I'm pretty sure that um, their Joplin and Telegram are about the same size. So that initial install Joplin had to do some extra stuff just because it was the first time I was using Snap. So now I've installed a couple Snaps. And I want to show you the con of using Snaps. Uh, Hopefully, watch this prove me wrong, but I'm pretty sure if I go here and type in Joplin. Which isn't even in the... See, that's interesting because apparently that's a Pop! OS thing. I'm, maybe I have to log out and log back in. Let's try that. Okay, so yeah, I did. I have to. I had to log back out and log back in. Now you'll notice I did not have to do that for the flat pack. Now I don't think if you're using Ubuntu that comes with Snap pre-installed that you have to do that. But let's see if my con that I'm talking about actually proves right. So we can time this. Remember how fast Bitwarden was? Yeah, that was pretty slow compared, and that was actually faster than what I was expecting it to be. Uh, the point is, snaps are slow. Uh, let's open up Telegram and see if it's the, sa the same way. Yeah, that was, I mean, it doesn't seem slow. I mean, <laughs> it just, there's an extra couple seconds there that just don't exist when you're opening up something like files. Files are instantaneous. The same thing with, um, let's open up that Bitwarden again. Bitwarden, instantaneous. There's not that extra like one or two seconds even whatever of delay that seems to just exist so we, we've seen the the syntax or whatever for these two things really the whole point of this is that they're both very similar the con of flat pack is that the package names are kind of trash I don't know. I'm just curious. Let's switch back over to this and open up a terminal. I'm just curious, and do if I do su if I do flat sudo. I think I have to do sudo. Can't remember. Nope. Just flat. So I do flat pack install flat hub Spotify. No, see, this is what I'm talking about. The uh, if I wanted to sp install Spotify through Flat hub. I'd have to do com dot spotify dot client. So you'd have to remember that com dot whatever in order to get tab completion. And I'm not sure that every package has com dot whatever. Some of them might have something else. I don't know. That's messy. Why can't I do Spotify and it tab completes? Now, if you're using ZSH or Fish. You might get tab completion without having to have that com dot, but in Bash, for sure, you don't. You have to do com dot Spotify in order to get tab completion. With with Snap, I just do sudo snap install Spotify, and I can do you know it gives me you know options here. Spotify, you know, 
So it was very easy. I didn't have to remember any weird, you know, naming convention. And that's just, that's the con of Flatpak. The con of Snaps is that it's slower. And it was actually faster than it used to be. And it's definitely, the last time I used Snaps, they were just horribly, horribly slow. Especially with, Joplin is a, a very beefy application. And it's slow when you build it from source. I mean, it, it is. So, Snaps was way worse you know, a year ago or two years ago than it is now, but it is still slower than Flatpak, and that's the big thing. And there's another thing here that I want to talk about, actually, now that I'm remembering it. I keep switching you back and forth, but, um, and this might not even be the case anymore, so if I open up a, yeah, look at this here. There, when you install Snap on a system that doesn't support it out of the box, you get something crappy called a Snap folder. It's in your home directory. You can't get rid of it. If you delete it, your snaps don't work because you're basically deleting the snaps. Why they can't put that in your configuration folder or make it hidden, I don't know. It pisses me off. I'm one of those anal retentive people that want my home directory to be as clean as possible, at least in terms of what you can see. Like I have a ton of dot files in my configuration folder or in my home directory. I can't see them all the time, so it doesn't bother me nearly as much. But I want the visible stuff to be, you know clean and tidy. I even go through and delete the templates and, vid and public folders usually, you know, because I don't need them ever. I just delete them. That way I don't have to deal with them. Snap always installs this extraneous folder. I can't get rid of it and it pisses me off. Irrationally mad because this folder exists and I don't want it to exist in my home directory. Put that shit somewhere else. I'd be perfectly happy. I mean, I look, the way you install snaps is really good. I think it's superior to what Flatpak does. I would use snaps even with how slow they are if it weren't for the stupid folder. That I mean I know it's stupid and it is stupid but it, it that's my biggest qualms with snap is that it's not completely open source which I've talked about before in that other video and that stupid snap folder. Open source it get rid of that stupid snap folder, and snap is one, as far as I'm concerned, because of that stupid naming convention that Flathub has. So, those are the two, th I mean, this has really turned into a rant about both of them. Personally, I think if Flathub fixed their naming conventions, and just, you could do Flathub install, or Flatpak install Spotify, it'd be so much better. I mean, it would just, really, that's the only problem I find with Spot with Flatpak is that they have that weird name convention of doing com.spotify.client uh, or in terms of Bitwarden, it was com.bitwarden.desktop. At least make it consistent so that you can remember it and without having to look it up, which is, I mean, it's just annoying. Snap, on the other hand, has its stupid folder and stuff, but it has some good stuff. It has the good and easy naming convention, easy tab completion. Uh, things... In my experience, for the, uh, Snap has a slightly bigger catalog of applications than FlatHub does. I've also found that it's the applications in Snaps are more usually updated than the Flatpak ones. A lot of times, the Flatpak ones are a little bit more behind than the Snaps are. That's not as big of a problem as it used to be. I mean, it used to be much worse. For the most part, they're on even footing, but every once in a while, you'll see this the Snap stuff get up, gets updated uh, faster than the FlatHub one. And, and that's usually because the FlatHub stuff is, in, is usually packaged by the developer themselves, and that's an extra step that they have to take. Whereas the Snap one is usually, uh, I'm not going to say usually, a lot of the times maintained by a community member, and they've taken the package from the developer and package it themselves. So, which one should you use? <laughs> That's a good question, right? Which one should you use? I'm going to go with, use the one that's installed on your distro. If you're using Ubuntu, there's no reason to use Flatpak. There really isn't. You're, you're not going to have to deal with that stupid snap folder. You'll have to deal with them being a little slower than a, you know, a native application or, or, or a application installed through apt or whatever but it's going to be a seamless thing to do 
you can just use them, install them. You probably won't even know they're snaps. It's just the way it is. If you're on elementary or on pop, use flat packs because those are what's supported and they're in the software centers or whatever that they provide and it's easy to just install them. You probably won't even know you're dealing with flat packs. The only way you'd want to use snaps is if you're, you know, you find an application that you can't, isn't packaged via in the repositories or in flat pack and then you'd have to go through and get snaps. Like Mailspring. Uh, Mailspring is not in the Ubuntu repositories. It's packaged as a snap. It might be in FlatHub now. I'm not actually sure. It didn't used to be. Uh, it's a bad example. So that's what I would do is just use the one that's installed with your distro because that's the one that you're going to be f faced with the least barriers of entry. It's just going to work. You don't have to actually go through and install things. You don't have to deal with annoying stupid folders that just appear out of nowhere. You don't have to restart your computer probably in order to get your install programs to install. Whatever. So which one would I what no which one do I use? I use neither. I use the AUR. Yeah, baby. <laughs> That's why this is why the AUR is so good because you don't have to deal with slowness or any of that stuff. Now you have obviously there's other things wrong with the AUR. You know, malware and auto date packages and all that stuff but it's there you are anyways so that is it for us this video uh thanks for holy crap 25 minutes of stuff i mean holy man i can't believe i rambled on that long anyways thanks for watching let's t jump into the social shall we make sure you follow us on twitter at twitter.com slash linuxcast facebook on facebook.com slash linuxcast you can support us on patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast where we do polls for stuff that we're going to cover in the future, so you can help choose us what choose what the next video is going to be, and the next distro is going to be, and all that stuff. And with mentioning Patreon, I'd like to thank Devon C and Marcus B for being our patrons. Thanks, guys, and thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.